an interesting part of programming are unary operators. And what unary operators do, they add one or subtract one from a value. Or you could say increment or decrement by one. And I've shown you some examples at the bottom here, x plus plus, plus plus x, x minus minus, and minus minus x. And what the plus plus would do is it would take the value of x and add one to it in both cases, or take the value of x and subtract one from it in both cases. Now you may be wondering why I have two sets of pluses and two sets of minuses. The reason is there are two types of unary operators. There are prefix where the plus plus or the minus minus goes before the value, and there's postfix operators which the plus plus and the minus minus goes after the operator. Looking on the screen, what I've done is I've added some numbers together using a traditional way to add one, an arithmetic shortcut, and then unary operators at the bottom. So let's see what it would output when this is done. And if we were to go through this line by line, we would start with the value 100. And then we could say num is assigned to num plus one, and that would add one to 100. And so when we print it out, we would get the first value, 101. Next, we could use a shortcut, and it would do the same thing as num is assigned to num plus one. It's just using a shortcut to do it, and it would add one. And therefore, when we print it, we would get 102. Next, we're using a unary operator, which uses the plus plus after the value. And one of the interesting things about unary operators is they don't use the assignment operator. You'll see no equals sign here. Even though it is adding the value back to the number itself, it's not going to be shown. And so sometimes, especially beginning programmers, can forget that num is permanently being increased by 1 even though no assignment operator is present. So when we would print out the value, we would get 103. And then if we said num minus minus, which is going to take away one, we would get 102. And then if we used a prefix instead of a postfix, like we did the two above were postfix, num plus plus and num minus minus. When we get a prefix like minus minus num, it's going to do the exact same thing and subtract one from num, and we would get 101. In this next example, I want to start you thinking about why we would have prefix and postfix operators. And here is an example of where it really makes a difference whether you're using a prefix or a postfix operator. So let's say that we start with the value 100 just like we've done in the previous examples. And then we're going to say plus plus num, and we get exactly what we would expect, 1 plus 100, which would be 101. Now in the next example, we have a postfix, but it's not going to do maybe what you're expecting, and it is going to actually print the number first and then add 1, because the plus plus is after the num. So we see if this were to print again, which it does, it would print 101 again, not 102. But if we were to print it on the next line, just num without increasing or decreasing it, it would reflect the change. So it's important to note in terms of order of operations, the prefix and postfix is very important. And if you're not aware of the order of operations, you might get unexpected results. Let's see this with pre and postfix decrement instead of increment. So we're going to start with 100 again. If we use a prefix operator, minus minus num, we're going to get 100 minus 1, which is 99. And then on the next line, we're using postfix. You see num minus minus. So it's going to print 99 again, even though it's just about to subtract 1 from it. So if we print num on the next line, it has taken away one in the last line. It just printed out the value first. Again, the order of operations are very important when using prefix and postfix with unary operators. All a unary operator is in Java is a way to take one away from or add one to a variable. This can be done with either prefix, plus plus, or minus minus, and then the variable, or postfix, the variable, and then plus plus, or minus minus. As we showed in a couple of examples in this video, order of operations is important when it comes to prefix and postfix.
and you need to be aware of the order of operations if you're going to use them. And lastly, unary operators do not contain an assignment operator. When it says plus plus or minus minus, you need to know that it is permanently adding or subtracting or incrementing or decrementing a value by one and it is not the same as temporarily adding one to the value. Unary operators are great shortcuts and we'll see them used later, especially with for loops.